Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today Lloyd and I are heading off on an adventure to somewhere we have never been yet. We've pretty much covered most of Bali, almost all of it. Uh, so we have to do a bit of research on a few places we haven't been yet. Can we give them a hint? Yes. I'm gonna go surfing. Yeah. Uh, Cause we haven't really surfed in Bali. First Chang time surfing. Yeah, Changu's obviously got good waves, but it's extremely busy and we don't really surf. <laughs> We're pretty beginner, so. Yeah, so apparently this will be a really good place for us to learn. Another small disclaimer, we have been invited by the accommodation that we will be staying at um, for a complimentary stay, so just putting that out there before we get started. But it looks like somewhere we actually would book ourselves yeah, anyway. It's, it's a family owned uh, bed and breakfast, so it's not like a luxury resort or anything. No. We would probably go and stay there ourselves anyway. Absolutely. And it gives us the chance to go and check out a spot that maybe we wouldn't usually go and check out. Yeah, so we've just packed our bags, we're ready to head off, uh, and it's about a two hour drive on the scooter. We're just each taking a backpack on this trip because we're only going for two days. So we're getting pretty good at this now. Put all the valuables there. Computer, drone, GoPro. So they don't get wet. And this is the trip. Two backpacks. I can just ride with my backpack there. <laughs> Pretty smart. guys, we just want to say a quick thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. If you think you might be feeling depressed, stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed, BetterHelp is here to help. Lloyd and I have struggled with anxiety and social anxiety pretty much our entire lives, and BetterHelp has been a huge help to us. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private, online environment at your convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help you assess your specific needs and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions Plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. So I actually had the opportunity to trial BetterHelp and I was matched with a therapist and she was able to help me with some of my social anxiety issues. Uh, Quincy was really able to just help walk me through some of the feelings I was feeling and deal with some of that anxiety in a positive way. The great thing is, is you can request a new therapist at no additional charge at any time. Join the two million plus people that have taken control of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Lloyd and Mandy. That's betterhelp.com slash Lloyd and Mandy for 10% off your first month. And now let's get back to the video.
just made it to Madawi. <laughs> Madawi. We Madawi. think that's how you say it. <laughs> Madawi. We've, we've asked two locals and um, I've two said different answers. two different things. So if we say it wrong, we don't really care. <laughs> but it's there was a pretty epic drive here. Probably our biggest adventure so far on the scooter. I don't know, like, there's an easier way, but the maps took us through all these, like, rice paddies and dirt roads and... It was yeah, hectic. Pretty gnarly. <laughs> But we made it and it looks so cool here. I'm really excited to explore. The view from this balcony is awesome. The surf's right there. I'm so excited to get surfing. Yeah. Yay! starving. We're going to see if we can find some food for lunch and then maybe head down to the beach. I'm starving. <laughs> it's a Lloyd size burger. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> Just go, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We've been getting treated like royalty since we've been here. I can't believe we have this entire place to ourselves. Yeah, he was just saying that um, pretty much had no guests for over two years. It's really pretty sad, rough. but um, especially because the surf looks absolutely awesome. I'm so excited to get out there tomorrow. Yeah, it looks, looks really easy for beginners. Yeah, we are in very close proximity to a mosque where we are staying. It looks like Madawi is predominantly Muslim. There's, we drove past probably four or five mosques um, just coming here and yeah you can hear the prayer call from here but I think it adds to the experience yeah. I really like it yeah if you're not an early riser um, you might not be happy with hearing it first thing in the morning but if you're here to get waves who cares you don't need an alarm clock yeah. <laughs> so when we were getting shown around this place we were told we were going to get shown the pool and then we ended up stopping here and I thought this was the pool, but it's the koi pond. <laughs> Just take it pretty easy for the rest of the night. We want to have a pretty full day of surfing tomorrow. I'll be pretty happy if I catch just one wave. <laughs> That's my goal for tomorrow. I don't care about anything else. If I catch one wave, I will be very happy with myself. I'm sorry if you can't hear me over the singing. <laughs> it's pretty loud. But yeah, we're just gonna hang out here, watch the sunset, and um, we will see you guys in the morning. the camera's gonna pick that sound up but it's been going all night we didn't do our research I guess that during Ramadan if you are in an area next to a mosque that they sing all night it stopped at about 10 30 you were asleep 
And then started going again. At 3.30 maybe. So I guess we're out for the day. <laughs> so loud. We joked about it. It would be funny if that if this was going on all night. Joke's on us. <laughs> so tired. I guess they don't sleep during Ramadan. I thought they just didn't eat, but wow. So they do it for a month. Yeah. It's insane. We're just gonna wait for the sun to come up and then we're gonna go for a surf. <laughs> So luckily the noise stopped at about maybe 5am. We went back to sleep, which we're pretty happy about because I was going to be pretty grumpy and tired. plan was to go surfing at 7am, but we slept in. It's about 8 o'clock now. Conditions still look pretty good. So we're going to go give it a crack and then have some breakfast. So in the heat of the moment last night of being very tired <laughs> and woken up multiple times, uh, I thought we were going to end up leaving early, but we're not going to. We're going to tough it out and we're going to head out surfing now. This is our first attempt at surfing in a long time. Yeah. Probably three years. Yep. My only goal is to stand up on one wave today and I'm not getting out until I do that. So. See you know I go. <laughs> My only goal is to not lose the GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> Good goals. <laughs> Got back from surfing, kinda. <laughs> Didn't do too good. I caught two waves, so my goal was achieved. Yeah, and I didn't lose the GoPro, so that was all right. <laughs> it's a pretty good spot though for learning. There's like a really chill left-hand long wave. It's a bit rocky, but it's not bad. Yeah. Um, uh, probably suggest having those like thin water shoes if you are coming here. It was a bit painful on the feet, but. Not too bad. Just waiting for him to bring us breakfast now because this room, the rate includes breakfast every morning, which is pretty sick. And the, oh my goodness, the hospitality here has been absolutely incredible. Like every time we turn around, they just know when we need something or yeah. want something. It's been so good. We were coming out of the pool and towels just appeared for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, just really recommend um, staying at this place because they are so lovely. Yeah. Just a, um, I guess a note would be to make sure, well just check if it is during Ramadan. It's not the biggest deal, like it's been quiet now for like five or six hours. Yeah. It's, I think it's later in the night and early in the morning, so maybe just check the dates before you book here. Terima kasih. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Thank, you. Thank you so much. We've just come to Rasta Cafe in Madawi. We always love a good Rasta cafe. <laughs> um, the staff everywhere, everyone's been so lovely and welcoming. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, we never get sick of Indonesian hospitality or Balinese hospitality. So good. The best. Yeah. 
It's the coldest beer we've had in so long. Quite far, <laughs> not even close. Take note. Yes. <laughs> Definitely come here in the deli. Yep. <laughs> Be worth the allergic reaction. <laughs> Always an animal, right? <laughs> yeah, love them. Oh, My tower of nazi goring. This looks so good with the fritters. Yeah. And tempeh. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> this has been a really unique experience being here during Ramadan. Yeah, um, there are mosques in Changu, but not many. There's only a couple. Uh, there's seems like a predominantly Muslim um, population here, and um, yeah, it's been pretty eye-opening to see how they live for this month during Ramadan. Yeah, we just learned that on top of not being able to eat all day, they actually can't drink water either. Yeah, or smoke cigarettes. Um, what else? Well, they are allowed to sleep, but um, this close proximity to the mosque, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> yeah, so my understanding is I wake up very early for prayer and to basically consume as much water and food as possible for the day because for that 13 hours, I think around it is, from um, sunrise to sunset, there's no water, no food, but you still have to go to work. You still have to do all your regular daily duties, um, which is pretty tough. And yeah. then at sunset, around sunset, just after sunset, they have a light meal and then they go to prayer for a couple of hours. Uh, and then they have a really big meal later on. So. That goes on for 30 days, which is pretty hectic. That's crazy discipline. But I'm really grateful that we learned more about it because I was pretty naive. I had no idea how difficult it actually was. Yeah, and uh, I mean, at the start last night, it was pretty annoying <laughs> yeah. having such a loud um, prayer call coming through like to our room. But it kind of made me appreciate like what these guys go through for their faith. Yeah. And um, I mean, we're. We're just doing it for one night. And we're not, even, we're not fasting. even fasting. Yeah, so um, yeah, just shows their level of dedication. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. Madui is a very peaceful place. Um, so I would recommend coming here if you're wanting just to surf and relax and spend time by the beach or in the pool. It's a lot less you know, populated. It's not a, a Chengdu or anything like that. And I think that's sort of the uh, attraction of it. Like we said, keep in mind if you are coming during Ramadan, but I sort of would recommend it because it is a really unique experience and to actually be able to understand and immerse yourself into a completely different culture because the feeling of here is very, very different than that of Chengdu. I don't know. So, just heading to dinner. Just did a bit of work. Uh, had a couple coaching calls. Had a big day actually, started with surfing, uh, a bit of work, lunch. It's our last night here, so we want to have a good dinner. There's a spot just up on the point that we've been recommended. It looks like a pretty nice place. And I think it's a happy hour. Yeah. So we'll give it a go. Looking out at the point, which is like the main surf break, it's a long left hand, and it's sunset. I can count, I think, three or four people out there. Um, someone who likes surfing and doesn't want to go to crowded waves, this is definitely the spot. Like it the is. waves are awesome. 
and um, there's barely anybody out there. So hopefully we're not blowing up the spot for everyone, but... But the, cool. the businesses here could really use the, the tourism. So if you're wanting to come to a more quiet surf area, this is the spot to come to. Dark out here, you can't see our food. Good morning. So we're just about to head back to Changu after two days here in Madawi. I think um really, really good trip. Yeah, this is a really good little lesser known spot in Bali if you're looking to get away from the crowd. I really enjoyed experiencing the Muslim culture, which I wasn't expecting. I didn't realize that it was predominantly Muslim in this area. And being here during Ramadan, um, talking to some of the locals about what they do during Ramadan was pretty cool. Yeah. One uh, a theme that's sort of come up over the last five months of traveling through Bali is just how hard the pandemic's really hit all these business owners, hotel owners, restaurants, B&Bs, tour guides, like they're all been struggling hard. So we've enjoyed traveling around Bali and helping some of these people out, um, giving them some business and talking to them and just hearing what they've gone through. They all provide amazing service oh, and with a smile on their face as well. Yeah. And they all keep in good spirits, so. The best hospitality I've ever experienced in my life in Bali. Um, we have received a message from one of the businesses that we have helped out and because of you guys He's seeing a huge influx in his business now um, Which makes us feel so good and one of this that's sort of the heart and soul of this channel for us is being able to share small businesses and spread the you know the love and offer more value and business and show you guys good places to go in Bali, but also help out the business owners. So thank you guys for um, taking our recommendations and helping out these small business owners. Yeah, don't be scared to um, to trek outside of the tourist hotspots like Changu and Samanyak and Kuda and that sort of stuff. Because um, there's some really good little gems around Bali. Absolutely. And they could use the tourism as well. Yeah, and don't be afraid to try local food. Um, shop at local you know clothing shops that sort of thing because they're the ones that need it the most yeah we hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog if you have don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel click on some of our other videos uh listen to our podcast new episode every wednesday and um we'll see you guys in the next one bye thank you guys bye bye Thank you so much.